What's up guys and welcome back to my garage. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we finished up the interior for our NIV rally project. It's looking very, very nice in here. We've got everything except for a roll cage. If you guys missed the previous episode, you would have also missed my very, very slow descent into madness. I spent way too long at the junkyard looking around for this specific model's roll cage. And I, I still swear it exists. I swear I've seen it once before, but a lot of you were saying it doesn't exist. Some of you were saying it does, but it's a mod. I'm just not really sure anymore. But having said all of that, today we're actually going to be competing in the rally race. I'm not sure how many rallies we'll get through, but uh, we're going to try it out. And we'll, we'll see how we do. But before we get to that, I have a few more minor changes that I want to make to the NIV. In addition to that, I think we're finally going to buy the vehicle trailer today. I just think it'd be so much cooler if we pull up in the wolf wagon, trailer in tow with the NIV strapped to the back. I think it's going to look very, very sick. So immediately, we're going to hop in the wolf wagon here. Let the glow plugs warm up as we should. And we're gonna see how much this here trailer actually costs. We spent 1800 plus the topper for our, our small little like parts runner trailer. But this guy, this guy's gonna run us 3,900 bones. There we go. We've got ourselves a trailer. That only drops us down to 57,000 smackaroonies, you guys. We're still we're still killing it. Now, the other thing, I should probably just cut the ignition on this just for uh, just for a moment. Um, the other thing that I wanted to buy while we're over here is some new rims and tires. I really do like the the multicolor sort of rims that we have going on right now, but hey, I think I got a joke for you if you want. I think for the rally so, we need something different. What's up, bud? To be a bit more in touch with my Oh, this son. again. So, so I crashed the car, and then I ignored her. You did the... not. What is the largest rim size? Is it is it 16? Okay, but those are four lug. We need five lug for the NIV. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Maybe let me just go check. I could have easily just driven the wolf over here for this, but it's fine. There we go. Five lug. Now we know. Let's buy some rims. 16-inch rims are definitely going to be the largest, but now that we know we're looking specifically for 5-lug, we only have two options in a 16. The wolf wheels, like the factory wolf wheels, or these. Really leaning more towards these. It's a difference of 190 and 130 so $60 cheaper for these, but I think they look better. I really, really do. So let's, let's scoop up four of those. Did I overpurchase? Did I underpurchase? I, I, I wasn't keeping track. Moving on to the tires now. We need the 16-inch tires, of course, since we got the 16-inch uh, rims over there. I think what we have right now is is a, a thicker sidewall like this one. I want to bring it down a little bit, but I don't really want like the low pro tires, especially if we're going to be doing some rallying in this thing. So I'm going to buy four of these. And then while we're over here, I also wanted... A new steering wheel. Let's go with this one since we have like the black door cards and stuff. I think that'll look really, really good. That we can put in our backpack. Tires and rims, unfortunately, we'll just have to toss in the wolf wagon. So let me get that pulled up here. We'll get her loaded up and brought over to the garage. We got it all loaded up just in time for it to start raining on us. This is definitely not going to be a, a good day to partake in the rally. I can tell you that for for sure. So let's cut the ignition and I'm going to go ahead and just get these all mounted up before we head to bed and, and sleep in order to skip this rain. Gotta say though, I got a pretty good feeling about these. I think they're going to look really, really good on the NIV. But again, let's head to bed, try to get rid of this rain. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. We're all set. So, before we lift up the hoist and get those very, very sick new wheels installed, I want to grab our wrench and just lean on in here. Try to unfasten the steering wheel. There we go. Out with the old. Drop the freshie out the backpack. We'll get this guy installed. Get that bolt fastened. Oh, that looks so good, dude. The silver would have been nice, too, I guess, because it, it would have sort of blended in 
uh, like with the main portion of the seat here. But I love that. I love that. Hopefully it makes it a little bit easier to handle, though I doubt it. So we're just going to get all that tossed in a pile. We'll deal with that eventually, you know, go and, go and pawn it off whenever we can. But let's get these hoist arms underneath the vehicle where, where they need to go. We'll get it lifted up, swap these wheels around, make sure we air up the new tires as well. And then I think we'll be uh, just about ready for our first ever rally. Okay, I think it looks good, but as I sort of feared, our ride height is not it. Not really, not really where we want it at. So we're going to grab our wrench again. We'll get the vehicle hoisted back up into the air just so we can sneak on underneath. We'll get our adjustable coilovers adjusted a little bit. Aren't they, they should be, oh, I thought they were max height. I kind of just want to see it completely slammed. So I'm going to adjust all of these accordingly. And this might actually be too dirt nasty low for a rally. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not, dude. That actually sits, it sits pretty nice. We're not going to have very much suspension travel necessarily, but it looks pretty dang good. I think it's going to look even better out there on the trailer. So that is the, the next the next part of this, I have absolutely no idea how to operate our brand spanking new trailer, so we're going to get this figured out together. All right, I've got the NIV in position. Now I just need to figure out maybe there are ramps or some sort of a release mechanism up at the front, maybe. Oh, here we go. Uh, what do they call these trailers? A, a tilt? A tilt back? Sure, let's go with that. That that sounds right. Okay, we probably don't need to go that high though, right? Just until just until the trailer starts to come into contact with the ground. Maybe maybe right there. We don't want the incline to be too excessive. I'm also probably going to quick save now because knowing me, I might gun it a little too hard and we'll just end up ramping over the the wolf wagon, but hopefully not, right? Hopefully that does not happen. Here we go. Ignition. Drop in the parking brake. Let's go uh, third person view here. So we can make sure we're nice and centered on this trailer. And then those of you who have trailered vehicles before would probably know this, but I haven't the slightest clue. I'm pretty sure you want the vehicle like as close to the center of the, for this trailer, since it's a dual axle, I'm pretty sure you want it as, as close to the center of the two axles as you can get it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, if that's not right, so be it. Now then, it was recommended that I at least try to fit either the lad coupe or just lad roll cage that we did purchase in the previous episode inside of the NIV. So I'm, I'm gonna, but I don't expect it to work. I, I really, really don't. Which one do we have here? This is the Lad Coop cage. That does not appear to bolt up. You might also have to remove the seats prior to installing one of these, but this one ain't it. So let's try the other. The Lad and the NIV do share a couple of parts. Yeah, but it, it doesn't look like the cages are interchangeable. Hey, we tried, right? We tried. So. Uh, we do have one pit stop to make before we actually go start competing in the rally, but it's it's too late in the day for us to do that right now. So we're just going to sleep for a few hours. We'll head across the streets, grab some food, grab some drink. We'll make our quick pit stop, and then we can uh, we can finally go partake in this rally, dude. I'm I'm so stoked. I really am. I I hope I do well. I'm not expecting to do well first first take here, but um, you know. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky, right? That never happens. Alrighty, it's time to see if this vehicle's just gonna fall off the trailer immediately or if it's gonna tow very, very nicely. You know what? That's not bad. That's really not too bad. It would be nice though for first person's sake if we could at least see the reflection, you know, so I, I could just make sure that the vehicle's still there while we're driving. I might just have to drive in, in third person. But 
We're making another pit stop in here just for this decal box. Nice. Something else that I've never checked out here in my garage. And since now we have a rally vehicle, it feels like the best time to do so. Got the e-brake ripped on both the wolf wagon and the trailer, just so it's it's really, really not going anywhere. What does that say? Oh, middle mouse button to change decal. Yo, trailer, chill, dog, chill. Okay, unsurprisingly, the trailer does not like to, to stand still. We've got a little ducky, little snowflake looking thing. Is it just random every time? Okay, flames, a stripe, another ducky, biohazard, just a circle, some more flames. Flames would kind of go hard on this thing, I'm not going to lie. But I really just wanted to see uh, what all, like, what all we could actually put on it. It looks like it's flames, biohazard, more flames, rubber ducky, and then some random symbols and things. All of which I'm not super interested in. Yeah, even the flames. Even the flames, dude, it's it's just not doing it for me. But you know what? We'll um we'll toss this in the in the back of the wolf wagon if it hangs on throughout this entire journey. Good on it. But I I won't be upset if we end up losing the thing. One minute thirty seven seconds later. This is so sketchy, dude. So sketchy. Okay, maybe first person view will be better. Like, the wolf wagon already kind of pulled to the right uh, under under heavy acceleration. Uh, but with all this weight in the back end, it is so much worse. So I've, I've pretty much just got to feather the throttle this whole drive, I think. But it, it does look pretty crazy, right? Rolling up, rolling up to the rally like this. A lot crazier than just driving up in the vehicle we're going to be racing in. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, dude. I'm just gonna sit here just, just to wait and see what happens. The demons are back, though. Like, honestly, what more evidence do you need that there are, there are demons, there are ghouls, ghosts in my garage? Also, what is that? Hang on. While our car's freaking out, I just found a toilet? Really, it's a collectible. We could probably sell this for some big money, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to restart because our NIV is in shambles. The hood's all bust, oh, and there it, there it goes. I think we're getting close. Oh, you know what? That might actually be the sign right there so i'm gonna unload our trailer across the street and hopefully during the rally we don't end up coming this direction i also don't know if we have anyone like we're going up against for this rally let me make sure we're in neutral uh i have no idea if we if we're going up against other drivers or, or what the deal is with this this will be my very first uh very first rally ever so we're gonna get the trailer Lowered back down again just until it comes into contact with the ground. I am going to reverse right into a tree, dude. I picked like the worst spot to unload. That's all right. If I could just if I could just get in the there we go. It's looking like we got a bit of overhang on that on that passenger side. Yeah, that is very bad. I don't even think I'll be able to get it off the trailer, dude. This seems like a slightly better location to try to unload. What I'm going to try is just dropping the parking brake on the NIV. And I'm going to push it off the trailer instead. I like, dude, I high-centered myself on the uh, fender guard or what, whatever you call that thing. I thought this was uphill. Why are you still rolling? Good God. Alrighty, before we go ahead with our first attempt, I have a couple of rules for myself. Basically, if we have an accident prior to crossing the finish line, it's okay if we restart, which is why I'm going to quick save right now. But if we were to get in some type of accident, can we actually rev it from here? We can. Okay, I didn't know that. If we get in some type of accident after crossing the line, after finishing the race, we're just we're just stuck with whatever damage has has occurred to the vehicle. 
All right, let's go ahead and try our first ever rally race. Hopefully it's like blaringly obvious where it is we're meant to be going because again, I haven't the slightest clue. But we're gonna take a seat, try to get myself centered on that steering wheel a little bit better. There we go, that seems pretty solid. And it, should we should we go controller for this? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it without the keyboard, but I'm I'm tempted to just use the controller. Okay, start location when ready. I am currently holding the brake, but it's not actually holding me. Please start the countdown. Please start the countdown. I'm gonna have to rip the e-brake. One, go. All right. Here goes nothing. So far, it is definitely pretty obvious where it is we're meant to be going. Passing old lady's house and across the line. Okay. 32 seconds. Oh, collect your reward. Is our reward in the tent, maybe? Let me bust a Yui here really quick. 32 seconds. Oh, time to beat was only 38? Check this out, dude. Our first ever attempt at our first ever rally. And we got us a trophy. Okay, the engine definitely just shut off there. So hopefully I didn't damage anything. What do we have here? 1,500 smackaroons! Just like that. Okay, how do we actually, like, take the money, though? There we go. It's like, it's just, it's like eating food. You gotta right-click and then, uh, and then left-click. And this guy, I think we just, we just hang up in the garage somewhere, put on a shelf. Well, all right, dude. I, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good right now. So that's, that's the first rally out of the way. We're gonna make our way back down to the trailer. We'll get her loaded up. And, uh, and we'll set off for the second rally race. Dude, these tires, these tires have got to be just completely bald. Okay, where are we, where are we going? Oh, up here a little bit further, it's gonna be on our left. Yeah, when, when we get to the, when we get to our destination though, I need to check out these tires. I, I got a pretty good feeling that they're gonna be just about completely shot. I, I don't think the rain alone would make it drive this poorly, but it is just all over the place. Okay, did I miss a sign? No? Might be down the road a little further. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, perfect. We've got a very, very nice area here to be able to unload the NIV. A lot nicer than the last location. You know, what I'm noticing here is it doesn't seem like we're actually able to back the vehicle off the trailer. Instead, what we have to do, oh, is just drop the e-brake. We can't be inside of the vehicle. Here goes nothing. Let's start the second rally. Time to beat is two minutes. Okay, so it's quite a bit longer than the one that we just did. But let's, let's hop on in here. Gonna be doing this one in the rain too. So take that into account when I fail miserably, all right? The weather, the weather wasn't on my side. That's, that's all that is. It's not my driving skills. Just weather, just a little bit of rain, you know? It'd be like that sometimes. All right, here we go, get ready. Again, using keyboard, keyboard and mouse. Though I am tempted to at least try the controller on this one if we don't do so hot.
30 seconds. We've only got 30 seconds. Okay, I'm, I'm going all the way to fifth. Hopefully we can make it. Uh, kind of looks like there might be a sharper left coming up. Oh no, we're good. Ooh, maybe a jump though. Let's try to avoid that. Okay, not bad, not bad. Come on, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. It's gonna be a slight right and across the line, dude. So close, so close. And again, going back to the rules I established earlier, since I did cross the line, we didn't take any damage. To my knowledge, there might be some stuff going on underneath, careful. Um, I'm not able to just restart uh, at the top of the hill, so I do have to drive all the way back up there. But you bet your sweet bippy, old 2G's gonna give this another go. Where did the trailer go? It, it was here when we left. I, I know it was here when we left, and now it's just gone. It probably flew into oblivion, honestly. I, I think we might just have to buy a new one of those, unfortunately. Also, yeah, I meant to, meant to check these tires. Bald, 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 okay, not, not bald, but nearly bald. Your boy needs this trophy and the cash prize now to offset us losing our trailer to the demons. Here we go. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. We're off. barrier that fence whatever that thing was very sketchy oh my good lord okay we're fine we're fine we're fine 30 seconds 30 seconds come on pick up the speed Dude, my heart is racing right now. Absolutely racing. I think we can do it though, I think we can do it. Maybe, I don't know, 15 seconds. Oh no, jump. That's not gone well. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, well, thankfully we did not Cross the line. I just want to inspect the damage before we do restart. I was going way, way too fast. It's not even that bad. Slightly deformed uh, front end right here. That uh, that fender and then the bumper with the the two lights. The very minimal damage for how much airtime we got on that. This is going to be so much better. No rain. The trailer is back as well. Got a good feeling. Got a, got a real good feeling about this attempt. Try to get more of a launch here. There we go. Uh, just, just a good old neutral drop. It's good on the five speed, it is. No, oh God, that was the worst one yet. Well, <laughs> might as well, right? We might as well. Two minutes. We just have to do better than two minutes. We got this.
on, come on. The speed across the line. Nailed it, dude. Nailed it. Nearly five seconds faster than our initial attempt. Now we can come over here. Oops, didn't mean to downshift like that. Come over here to our tent and collect our prize. 1500 bucks again. Look at that. And another trophy. This one actually looks a little bit different from uh, from the first one. So hopefully they get progressively like cooler and cooler. Um as we as we make our way through these through these rally races but you guys we did it two successful rally races now under the belts your boys feeling real real good but i do think that's probably where we're gonna wind things down at for today once again if you guys did enjoy please leave a like leave a comment help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys peace